Today's video is brought to you by twitch.tv slash ACCardshark. Head over there now and follow and subscribe. What's up guys, AC Card Shark back again, back with another recent pickups video. Today we're starting out at Best Buy in Easton, Pennsylvania. Going to pick up uh, some online orders that I made. And then we'll take you back to the game room and show you what else is going on. Alright guys, so I went to Best Buy in Easton, Pennsylvania. I picked up a game for the PS5. That game is Lake. As you guys know, uh, I did play through this game already. I got it digitally uh, the day it released. Uh, played it all the way through for the Platinum Trophy. Absolutely love this game. And I just wanted the physical copy for my shelf, uh, for the library, so to speak. So, um, if you guys are into interactive story games, uh, Lake is definitely a great pickup for your PS5. And we're going to cut to the game room. Stay tuned to the end of this episode for uh, kind of a big surprise pickup. All right, guys, we're back here in the game room. Uh, we're going to go through some pickups, some games, and all that kind of good stuff. The first one I have here is for the Nintendo Switch. It is Always Collection. I did pick this up for vacation, um, although I did not get a chance to play it yet. Um, unfortunately, I was working on other games while I was on vacation. So this is uh, Always Legacy as well as Always Awakening. Uh, so it is the Always Collection on the Nintendo Switch. The next game we have up is from Limited Run Games, pulling out a Nintendo Switch title. And that is Cyanide and Happiness Freak Apocalypse Episode 1 Hall Pass to Hell. Yes, I kid you not. That is the title. Uh, if you want to shorten it up, it's Cyanide and Happiness Freak Apocalypse Episode 1. <clears throat> I've had this uh, order for a while now. It finally finally came in uh, from Limited Run. As you know, those games take forever to get to you. Uh, it did also come with the Freak Apocalypse Joking Hazard expansion. I don't know what that is, but I guess it's like the card that comes with it. Uh, it is not an official limited run release. Uh, however, it is like one of their companies they're affiliated with. And uh, they were distributing the game through limitedrungames.com. So that is the next pickup for the Switch, Cyanide and Happiness. Next up is a package from Scre Screenwave Media. Uh, if you guys know who that is, you probably know what this game is for the Nintendo Switch. That is the Angry Video Game Nerd 1 and 2 Deluxe. Um, again, I have this digitally. Uh, it comes with a little retro wear, like, uh, I guess a little card or advertisement about other games that they have on their label or, or their, their, uh, under their company. Uh, but this game is, is actually a lot of fun. Um, it is really, really cool, like 8-bit type game. I have this digitally, but I really wanted to have a, a physical copy for the collection on the shelf. The Angry Video Game Nerd 1 and 2 Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch. Next up are two games from Super Rare. As you guys know, I love my Super Rare games. Uh, the first one is Strange Brigade from Super Rare Games. I did play this on PS4. I absolutely loved Strange Brigade. I thought it was an, a fantastic game. And um, again, just to have the hard copy on the Nintendo Switch was a, a win for my collection. Along those same lines, I did pick up the Special Edition Steelbook Edition of Strange Brigade from Super Rare Games. Um, I just love the game that much. I wanted to have both both versions uh, on my shelf. As you can tell, uh, you know, one is uh, larger than the other as far as the, the collection is concerned or, or as the uh, edition, I should say, is concerned. Uh, but just really, really awesome artwork and everything else. So I did have to pick up Strange Brigade for the Nintendo Switch. Next is a box from Special Reserve Games. Special Reserve. I'm going to pop it open here and take a look. And uh, we have... Demon Throttle. Demon Throttle for the Nintendo Switch. Just a, a random game that uh, people were talking about from Devolver. Uh, just looked like a really, really awesome game. And uh, just looked really, really cool. So I just wanted to add it to my collection. As you can see, it is copy number 762 out of 10,000 made. 762 out of 10,000. Uh, so that is Demon Throttle for the Nintendo Switch. The next one up is from Limited Run Games. Came in a box here. Uh, that is for the PlayStation 4, and that game is Feather. Feather on the PlayStation 4. Again, just a game I had ordered for a while, and um, just uh, a game that I wanted to have in my collection just because it seemed like it was just ultra different. Uh, explore a vast open world, finding new songs in every nook and cranny, immerse yourself in a beautiful island that responds to your presence. Uh, just sounds really cool and different. Uh, and just a game I wanted to have in my PS4 collection. So that game is Feather for the PS4. 
The last pickup I have uh, from the game room here is uh, going to be hard to get on camera all at once, but I'll do my best. Uh, it is a product made by 8-Bit Doe. It is for my emulation uh, project that I have coming up that I wanted to try to uh, complete. And that is the 8-Bit Doe Arcade Stick. Now this is the, I'm going to try to adjust the camera here to try to get you a better shot. Uh, that is the 8-Bit Doe Arcade Stick. It is uh, Bluetooth as well as uh, USB. And it is uh, basically sits on your tabletop. As you can see uh, up on, let me see if I can get the camera to adjust here. Right over here. It is for Switch, Windows, Steam, and Raspberry Pi. So that will work with pretty much everything I need it to work with. And uh, it does have a 2.4G receiver for Bluetooth as well as a cable. So you can plug it in directly to a USB as well. Um, and that is for when I emulate and play my arcade games on my Raspberry Pi uh, and or future uh, emulation station that I plan on building. So uh, the 8-Bit Doe Arcade Stick uh, is going to be really, really awesome to play some arcade games with, with an actual uh, arcade joystick. So that is it from the game room here. We have one last surprise pickup. We're going to head back to my car. All right, guys. Well, I did promise you a big surprise. We are back here in the car from the Best Buy parking lot. And the big surprise reveal at the end of this video, it is a brand new Nintendo Switch OLED model. I did bite the bullet, I did pick this up. I was tired of my battery life being crap on my Switch and I figured what better way to upgrade it and get a better battery life as well as the, the brighter and bigger screen uh, than to pick up an OLED. They were back in stock at my local Best Buy and I picked one up. So, uh, unfortunately, they put a big sticker on the box, but that's okay. That'll make me actually throw the box away rather than hold on to it like I do with everything else because I'm a pack rat. But brand new Nintendo Switch OLED white model added to the collection. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Until next time, guys, AC Card Shark. Take care.